We are going to do some uh, testing with uh, a very simple setup uh, created by Mr. Cash, a nuclear engineer, to uh, to prove the deposits of uh, graphene or SPT, uh, SP2, SP3s on uh, copper electrodes. Uh, this test is going to be performed at uh, normal pressure and normal temperature, room temperature. Okay. Now, what we see here, this is a Coca-Cola bottle, a, tra a transparent Coca-Cola bottle, empty, completely empty. Without anything inside, empty, and with uh, new copper electrodes who are made from nails from uh, the roof. In this video, nuclear engineer Cash demonstrates with a non acidic liquid inside a simple waste bottle used as a plasma reactor that it is possible to create low levels of energy and that atomic carbon layers are deposited on the inside electrodes which is confirmed by a nuclear center after independent replication and is confirmed by a leading nano institute in Europe after a man spectroscopy. For the creation of carbon sp2 and sp3 no additional sources like magnets, lasers, arcs or gamma rays is used. The experiment happens at room temperature and normal atmospheric pressure. This is to demonstrate that nano material, nano tubes and nano layers can be produced in a very simple way without the use of radioactive material and without the use of any high temperature and pressure at the room uh, conditions. Uh, what we done, we have already submitted this to a nuclear institute, we have done the test independently, confirming the correctness of the method to fill this bottle up with a specific uh, liquid which is made and is in this bottle. It's transparent liquid, harmless. And then we measure to show that there are literally plasma electric charges within the bottle. Then we measure the voltages within the bottle because it will be demonstrated soon. Now, uh, a question. The liquid uh, you have there, is it identical to the liquid you gave to the nuclear institute? Yes. So what we do, we fill up the bottle, not full way, partially. Okay, so uh, in the top there is a plasma. The plasma will be created slowly in the top, and uh, what will happen? We will demonstrate very, very shortly that you actually do not need the environment of the liquid to achieve the production. This is like an ignition system, the liquid. Once the process stops, the whole reaction chain of reactions will take over and uh, uh, hydrogen will be created and the uh, plastic, which is the constituent of the bottle, uh, will release its carbon to be deposited on the material as a, a nano layer and the uh, uh, other component of the plastic, which is hydrogen, will be released as an atomic hydrogen which can be used for energy production and has been measured to be correct. What I want to do is to do something very simple. We empty 
the content of the bottle of fuel. Okay. Now the bottle is totally empty. The electrodes are getting dark. Now the energies are at seventies. If you look Building up, building up, and then you can go back to negative and switch over, which shows the capacitor property of the nanomaterial. But now you see the small voltages, the small cap, small bottle. My philosophy has been that in the universe there are no caps. We don't see any caps on galaxies. There are open space energies. So. I'm going to show a very simple material. This is the same phenomena. This is the cap, and this is the bottle, totally open. We still have the same energy. Is this what we call tapping into the universal energy? Even even higher, at a much higher levels. Now we have the energy from outside the bottle penetrating inside. Mm -hmm. So But still there is a plasma. There is a plasma. The process has started. You cannot stop the process. So you mean that in the in the you see in the bottle itself? Yes. Plasma, plasma is created? Plasma now is created in a very rapid point because now the CO two which is within the air is becoming part of the components of absorption. Now you will see the deposition of the carbon on the electrodes will be much faster mm -hmm. because the CO2 in the atmosphere now is allowed to join the total decomposition of the head of the plastic as well. So maybe it's the first time you see total empty bottle, no connections, no liquid. You've seen it yet, so you don't need me to confirm to you, you checked it yourself. Now, yeah, look at this one 154 millivolts. But the interesting thing is, we drain it, it's finished. We go back to it, we're back again. So, the system is regenerating immediately. So the claim that it could be static does not apply. But you might see something very interesting. Two different electrodes. Mm -hmm. You see voltages across the electrodes. Yeah. Yeah. We do the reverse. We do the reverse. Small amount. It shows very much the energy is within the plasma. It's quite stable, this one, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah because they are very, very stable. What we do, we change. 80 on the same electrodes and more and different across two electrodes. The drop is because of the resistance in the meter. It comes to a point that it doesn't go anymore. Take it away. Put it back on again. And the build up is there again. So, for the first time, you can see the development and creation of energy from open space in yeah. a plasmatic condition. 